be. It'd probably be fair. Awesome. When you when you first got your look at the new playing uh, player suite the facility over here, what was your initial impression of, of when you walked in the door? I don't know, sweet, because we used to be in this little shack over here for a, for a very long time. Last season, we was in this little thing while I was building it, so I couldn't. It was exciting that it was done. It's a nice place to eat at. Um, it just shows that, you know, Ohio State has the best facilities. The targeting rule, I think this is the 10th year of the uh, uh, wide receivers are probably the biggest victims of getting hit. What's, what's your opinion on the rule and how it's worked out? Um, I think uh, it just brings a you know safe safer you know mentality to the game. Um, keeps guys like me safe, more safe. Um, you know, even even from an offensive standpoint, we you know try to when we have times where we can, you know you know hit a hit a guy coming downhill or whatnot, or peel back and try and clean somebody up. We make sure that we don't do that because you know we want to play the game as you know pros. We want to make sure everybody's safe and it's. It's important to that you know you want to have respect for your opponent, or even when we're out here on the on the field, you know you you don't always want to just kill somebody. Um, so in the, in the in the head, what we've seen with CTE and stuff, that's big. You know, mental issues, that's that's huge. That comes, that's real. You know what I'm saying? So I think uh, they're going in a good direction when it comes to you know those rules. I, I asked Ryan Day about this already. Cause he seems like a nice guy. When it, you know, there are moments when a head coach needs to have that edge, right? When he needs to be able to get on you guys, you know, lay down the law about stuff. How will, how do you think Ryan Day will handle that when those moments come? Uh, when they come, where they are now, I mean, this, we've had issues this summer, and I mean, he's handled it really well. Um, he's, he, you know, he comes off as a nice guy because he wants to show that it is tough love. He's, it's not super, you know, uptight. You know, you want to be relaxed, you want to play, but. When it comes to business, you know, he'll, he'll be able to make sure that it's like that. And he's pretty firm about that. Um, he expects, you know, a certain standard. And if you don't reach that standard, he's going to make sure you know it. And, and also, I'm sure we've been asked about this, but just go ahead, Gloria. I'm well, sorry. No, follow go, no, go I ahead. Mean, go ahead. We know what the answer is going to be, but at the same time, it would be unprofessional if we didn't ask. What were those issues? Uh, just, I mean, little things. Guys coming late, uh, you know, not not being a body weight, little things. And, you know, he addressed the team as a whole. Same thing with Coach Mick. Um, and it's just, you know, little things like that. Also, I'm sure you've been asked about this, but especially I'm sure you have huge expectations for your senior season. Just your expectations personally for your senior season, uh, Austin. I mean, it's huge. Uh, I want to dominate. I want to be a all Big Ten receiver. Uh, you know, have close to 800 or more yards. Um, just you know, just you know, be a very reliable receiver for the Buckeyes. We see it all the time with seniors just having two more questions here. I mean, we see it all the time. I mean, right. Three of them last year. You have Devin Smith, his senior year. You see it all the time. I mean, you got to feel like you're the the next in that uh, that line. I would imagine. No doubt. Just gotta uh, and, and guys playing, man. That's it. You know, stay on the path and keep working hard. Do whatever I can for the Buckeyes and. The, Hopefully the ball falls my way. Hey, Austin. Coach, uh, Coach Day had talked about this, the idea that no matter, you guys Last are going to have a young right quarterback mm -hmm. for the beginning of the season, a guy who's never started at Ohio State before. Right. When you have veterans receivers like you and Ben and, and KJ, what does that mean for you? What can you do mm -hmm. as a veteran receiver to help a young quarterback? Yeah, I mean, uh, he came from Georgia, so he came from a pretty, uh, you know, good program um, that's, you know, used to winning. So it's like, you know, he's been there, he knows what it's like, but he just doesn't know our culture. So the biggest thing was for us to just help get him acclimated, help get him used to being in that huddle. Like, hey, bro, you're good, speak up, you know what I'm saying? Take control of when we're doing just little routes out here, just working, you know, on top ends or anything. Like, take control of it. You know, I know people might be goofing off, but get on people because that's, that's what the quarterback has to be. He has to be that, that engine, you know what I'm saying? As soon as the season comes, uh, you know, we rely on him, your voice. And it's like this whole spring, this whole summer, you know, it was all about, you know, getting him to feel confident enough to be able to, you know, be, be able to take that step and be able to take that, you know, the vulnerability to be able to put yourself out there and make that, you know, change. Hey, Austin, um, Ryan has this mental health campaign, and I know that part of it is taking your mental health seriously, and you guys have four, four people you can talk to. Mm -hmm. um, how likely do you think it is that Ohio State players will take advantage of that? And what do you feel about having that uh, be one of your coaches' priorities? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not too sure. I didn't even know that. That was the first time I actually heard about that one. But um, I'm sure we'll hear about it soon. And that's actually really awesome because it's, it's huge. Um, 
you know, a lot of people don't understand that, especially in, the, even in a time like this, especially for young guys like freshmen, you know, coming to the first camp. The camp is real, and you go through a lot of things that are mentally strenuous. So I think stuff like that would, would be actually really awesome. So I'm excited to see where his plans are for that. Awesome. Thank you very awesome. much. Appreciate it.